the third playlist of eight on the Potential Reality channel will be Extraordinary Biographies. What makes people extraordinary? The common perception is that they are born that way. Then they receive breaks in life. But that's only a part of the truth, maybe a very small part. The perception that a person won the birth lottery doesn't help us. Neither does idolizing them. Instead, we should learn from them. It is helpful to understand what and how they were influenced. We can do this by seeking the following information. What did their parents do to contribute and how? Who were their teachers and or mentors and what did they contribute? What were the times like? What was the standard education? Was there evidence in how they went about their lives? Perhaps the greatest loss we have of these individuals is in better understanding of how they thought, particularly the reoccurring thoughts that ran through their brains, how they were led to insights, how they pursued goals, and their viewpoints of the world. What were their defining characteristics? Having this information would lead us to have less of a superhuman viewpoint of them. Certainly they lived life differently than most of us. But much of this can be learned. Our minds can be trained to better think as they thought. It is not easy, but it can be done. Imagine yourself having access to the same resources and doing the same things. Could you not have been similar given their advantages. Try to develop a similar passion and use their processes. We now have ex exponentially greater access to information and tools for such a pursuit. I feel these are people important for everyone to know. For many of you, it'll be an introduction, others a renewal. And for those who know far more than I do about these people, I ask you, how can their lives more influence ours in our study of consideration of potential? An example was in a visit to Pela, Greece, the birthplace of Alexander the Great. As I was walking through the ruins, I wondered at what it could have been that drove Alexander so intensely to explore and conquer the enormous empire he did. One immediate answer came to me. That is in the Voris Mountains. These are to the north of Pela and dominate the skyline. They beg of exploration and create wonderment as to what must be beyond. Yet mountains are prohibitory and the danger that rests within them this adds to the allure. Of course, I could be wrong, and this had nothing to do with Alexander's quest. A drive in my life has always been in wanting to know what's on the other side of the mountain and enjoying the challenges the mountains offer. Such viewpoints can help create passion. Alexander's mother encouraged him to read and live the Iliad the story of Greece's war with the city of Troy. He slept with it under his pillow and took it into battle. Alexander looked to Achilles, the hero of the Iliad, for constant inspiration. Why are some individuals so talented and others not? What I've witnessed in my life has given me a strong belief that a lack of talent can be changed substantially. Society in general needs to be far more open to this. We far too easily give up on people. How might we better add to the development of all children? What about adults? The first three biographies will be on Richard F. Burton, Mansa Musa, and Rene Descartes. Richard F. Burton was an English adventurer was obsessed with understanding culture and explored more places in the time before flight 
than anyone I have read about. Mansa Musa was the 14th century African king of Mali. Mali controlled both the gold and salt supplies to the Middle East and to Europe. Many believe Mansa was the wealthiest individual in history. René Descartes was a 17th century French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist. He was one of the most influential people in those capacities in history. The next episode will be the fourth of eight playlists. It'll be on places, eras, festivals, and awards. Please support the channel by pressing the subscribe button down below. Thank you for watching.